Okay, so recently I decided to update my Checkpoint TCSA course, but I was having a hard time trying to make it run on PNET Lab. Now, if you don't know, PNET Lab is one of the best network simulators or emulators out there, especially if you're studying for certifications such as CCSA, CCSC, CCSM, CCSM Elite, or any CC certification on Checkpoint. Well, the thing is, I couldn't find an easy to follow step-by-step uh, -step guide on the internet. So that's the reason I'm making this video. And it's going to be a very easy to follow, especially if you are a beginner and you only need one thing, Checkpoint Gaia operating system. And you can get it for free without having any contract or account associated on Checkpoint itself. And I'm going to show you now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to download Checkpoint Gaia operating system. So just search for Checkpoint download Gaia R81.10 and you should have a result like this. Now you want to click on the first link and it's going to take you to this portal where you'll find Checkpoint R81.10 Gaia Fresh Store. Now, I'm choosing the version R81.10, although there is a more up-to-date version at the time of this recording, is that I found this to be a more stable version, at least based on my experience, okay? So you want to download this version and click on download to start downloading the ISO file. Okay, the download is complete, so now we're going to import into PNET Lab, and to do that, I'll be using WinSCP. Okay, so let me open this and I'm going to start a new connection to a new site. So here on host name is going to be uh, my PNET IP address and it is 2.6 and the username should be root and the password. So this is the first time. Yes, I'm just going to accept that. And so now we're going to, uh, let's see, it should be uh, OPT folder and unit lab add-ons key move and here we're going to create a folder so i'm going to click on create new directory and we're going to name this as cpsg hyphen r81.10 okay so you have to type this name just the way it is okay so here we're going just to drag and drop the file and this is going to take some time. Okay, the upload is completed. So now we're going to change this file name to CD-ROM, okay? And we have to create the hard disk for this uh, gateway or for this machine. So we have to SSH into this uh, server, so PNET. And again, I'm going to use party and that's IP2.6. And this is the first time, I'm just going to accept. I'm going to log in and i have to go to that directory so that should be opt unit add-ons kimu checkpoint and i'm just going to expand this a little bit and i have my uh, command here so this is how we're going to create uh the hard disk for this image okay so we can confirm that we have a hard disk there so now we're going to start a new lab and I'm just going to name these as test and we're going to start it and I want to change this to dark mode background dark mode okay so we're going to add one node and that's going to be checkpoint security gateway and here we have to change the primary console from telnet to vnc don't forget to change this otherwise you won't be able to uh, install uh, this gateway and we also want to add the network and we want to select the management cloud zero you're going to save that and now we're going to connect to the cloud save and we're going to power on our gateway okay so now let's bring the vnc session okay and let's begin the installation process now, if you watched my previous videos on how to install uh, Checkpoint Gaia on VM, this is going to be a very similar process, okay? But anyway, I'm just going to walk you through in case you're just a beginner on Checkpoint. Okay, let's proceed with the installation. So click OK. Yes, I want to use US keyboard. So I'm not going to change anything related to the partition. So I'm going to set a password for the admin account. 
so it's going to be a super secure and now we're going to select uh which interface i'll be using to manage this i'm just going to leave as default so i'll be using it zero and it's going to leave again the ip address as default and it's going to begin the installation process okay the installation is completed so now let's reboot this node okay once the node is back online we're going to close this and we're going to power it off and we're going to right click on it and we're going to select node folder so we want to go into this folder so i'm just going to highlight and copy so let's go back to pnet so i'll use cd and i'll jump into this folder so you can see this is what we have in this folder so now we want to save the state on which we installed this image so the the next time we uh, run this node we won't have to install from scratch okay so we're going to go back to my nodes and this is what we're going to use to commit or to save the state of this node so i'm just going to paste and let it commit okay and the image was committed successfully so next we have to remove the cd-rom remember the cd okay so if i refresh this i have two files in this directory so i'm going to delete the cd-rom iso because we don't need it anymore i'm just going to delete this and i can close this and also this one and we can add another node just confirm that everything is okay so remember we have to select the primary console to be vnc we're going to save this just going to drag to the cloud save and power it on and hopefully everything should work just fine okay so we can launch the vnc client and let's see starting the system okay and the node is ready if we want to log in so just type the password so from here we can uh, start the first time configuration wizard now if you want to know the next steps you can either install the security gateway or deploy a security management server now if you want to dive deeper into pnet i'm going to leave a link right here in the corner where you're going to learn more about different network simulators or emulators and if you want to uh, take my checkpoint course you can also find the link to this course in the video description i hope you found this video useful and i'll see you in the next one